Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Maurice Dimba, and today I'm going to show you how to create a concrete bridge gutter box and distributing them along the path and the curvature of the bridge stretch or length. If you take a look on the screen here, you can see we have a grid already in the place, in place, and we'll further edit it. And uh, we are going to use Excel spreadsheet coordinates, which will will be defining the gutter box and the bridge profile and also we'll apply the beam extruder tool to read these coordinates extrude distribute or populate them along the path defined by excel spreadsheet coordinates we'll get and remember beam extruder tool can now be accessed easily on our site let me just scroll down and uh, i'll access it uh, i will access it somewhere here i'll be able to just drag this aside or bring that aside and come to beam extruder tool here and I click on download button here this will take me to this to this section here where I'll be able to see the actual value or uh, uh, the actual value of this and I'll be able to go down to download here and uh, give it some time to uh, to upload and if you don't have something on your wallet uh, please please remember to top up so that you'll be taken to to another step or if you have the coins on your paypal account already you, you'll be able not to top up but to use the available amount on your paypal account now you just top up here you top up your wallet here and feed in the actual amount that was uh, that you saw attached to the content now i'll feed the actual amount here maybe that i'll go ahead and confirm that and give some time to respond and come here and go ahead and click now and once you access the paypal dashboard and you'll be able to make your payment immediately finalize your payment the, the download will, will start or begin immediately and you'll be able to install this fantastic or special tool into your tecla structures and you'll, you'll be able to make or create the concrete gutter boxes and you'll be able to extrude them and you will you will learn a lot using this particular tool well first of all put some little information on this grid here I'll just double, double click here and drag that aside and I want to add or there's no need because I've done several of several of these so if you you feel uncomfortable you can pick one of the tutorials and learn from that but though if this is your first video to bump on I'll just take you through so here we have the Y axis so I'll just finish this labeling of the uh, grid lines I'll come to Y axis here and continue with this H like that and just paste that and give it an OK by clicking modify and click OK you can you can see that it has moved up so that one you can proceed by doing it yourself now if we want to access the tool that I'm, I'm talking about which is in this case is beam extruder tool that will be helping us in uh, in creating the bridge uh, gutter box or concrete concrete bridge gutter box in, uh, in in bridge modeling will come to applications and component right here and in here we just type x extrude and prior to finishing uh, the application is, will prompt you with the letters that start with the same words and you'll be able to pick one of them and, and fortunately we have beam extruder here with us and what I'm going to do I'll just double click on it once I've double clicked on it here I'll find a uh, first of all need a space here and uh, once you have your coordinates in place that defines the shape and uh, the stretch or the length of the profile of your bridge put put them in a folder and you'll be able to access them through this dialog box of beam extruder and you'll get the exact tip and the exact profile of uh, concrete uh, concrete bridge gutter box here so now I'm going to route to uh, the folder where I saved my excel spreadsheets that has the coordinates of my bridge gutter box and the profile of my bridge uh, stretch or uh, length or the uh, the bridge itself now i'll come to browse here and this will take me straight to the route where i saved my excel coordinates inside spreadsheet here now i'll pick i'll double click on that and open it and pick on the bridge and, and select on that so here the Excel coordinates have been fed or be, has been fed straight into this 
dialog box and ready to use now i want to view the excel sheet the excel sheet itself here now i'll come to this button to show the excel, excel sheet preview now what i'm going to do i'll just select or click on this show excel and click on that and give it some time to uh, bring it up now this is what we have and these are the coordinates i'm talking about that are defining the shape of the uh, of the concrete gutter box and the profile that they will be distributed along to define the stretch or the length of the bridge and the curvature of our bridge all these coordinates are here so if you have your coordinates ready and you, you uh, make sure you save them in a folder and uh, you'll be able to access them through this uh, uh, good tool or a fantastic tool called beam extruder integral structures now having done this or having showed this here i'm going to start mapping up these excel coordinates on uh, inside this dialog box of beam extruder so the moment i start mapping these coordinates you'll be able to see the, the an indication that you, you're actually doing something and uh, your movement and your and your movement on, and whatever you will be doing in, in, uh, in tecla structures through this dialog box here you will be seen and re and reflected on this excel sheet you're seeing on my left here or in front of me here now i'll start mapping out these coordinates by feeding in the exact uh, the exact rows that I need to be mapped inside here. So I'll start with the uh, the first row, which is A. And the moment I feed in A here, you'll be able to see them being marked out by a red color here, which indicates that there's a connection between uh, this spreadsheet and my extrude beam and my beam extruder in Tecla structures. Now I'll go to uh, column Y and feed uh, B, which you can see here. We are moving to the B and I'll map the C column right there. And you can see that is indicate it is indicating and that we are connecting up with the beam extruder tool in Tecla structures. Now I'll go to column profile here and here I will feed I will I'll be I'll feed E here. And you can see it, it is responding. And column identification or, or column ID, I'll feed one. I'll feed one. First of all, A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. I'll feed it here, here, D, and come to E here. Then I'll come to number of headers. I'll feed one header here. And what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to uh, just uh, click the button extrude the beams extrude the coordinates that have defined or mapped mapped out in uh, inside this beam extruder tool or dialog box um, i mean this beam extruder tool is found in tecla structures and once you've downloaded it you can double click on it and access all this now i'm, I'm going to beam extrude uh, extrude beams and I'll, I'll go straight and click on it and you'll be able to see the mapping out and the profile of the of the of the of the bridge stretch and the the gutter box already duplicated here so if i close this or drag this slightly down here you'll be able to see we have the decks uh, populated along the uh, curved uh, profile which marks the profile of our bridge now that's how it's done and we don't need this anymore because we we, we got the uh, the profile and the shape we wanted for our bridge now i'm going to close this by canceling that and i will not save this so what we have here i'll close this what we have here is our gutter boxes populated along this curve defined by our coordinates that we fed inside our excel sheet excel spreadsheet now i'll come to navigate and i want to rotate this like, like this so that we go inside and select these components you see if i select on this you can see this is a gutter box by itself populated along this curve so i can go ahead and delete one and delete one there delete one there and with we we can come here and see that we have these uh, gutter box populated along that curve so you can delete that remember this is hard to do in tecla structures and populating populating them them like this in a, in a curved line like this is a headache and the best tool to do that for you is either beam extruder or you use 
a Tekla a Grasshopper Tekla live link that will link you between Grasshopper and Tekla structures for uh, uh, available commands. Now, these are the two options. You can either extrude your beam using beam extruder uh, tool or you can use uh, the, the Grasshopper Tekla live link. Now, this is how it's done and let me just undo everything here and that is how it looks. Now, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a second one that uh, uh, try to look that looks like this one also but it's it has some some shape that a little bit complex so what we're going to do first of all we want to get rid of this we want to get rid of our previous excel sheet remember when you want to generate another profile make sure you deactivate or cancel uh, the any active uh, uh, inactive excel sheet that contains the details of any a bridge deck on your screen now we are going to create another one so we'll pull up our uh, beam extruder tool here once again and we'll track our route to the folder where we saved those uh, coordinates in excel excel uh, excel format now i'm come i'll come here on the browser and the browse and click on that and come to excel folder here and i'll pick the excel sheet format there then I'll, I'll, I'll request this to be showed or to be uh, I'll, I'll request a preview of this by clicking show excel here and i'll be able to view this inside here so i want to map it out so that i can connect i can create a link between the excel sheet the excel sheet coordinates and my beam extruder uh, tool now i'll start mapping this out by feeding in the exact uh, column columns inside this now i'll start with a then go to B here, then go to C, then I'll go to G here, then I'll go to 2. I'll have A, B, C, and G, H here, and number of headers and uh, number of header rows, I'll feed 2. I'll feed 2, and I'll go straight and click extrude beam like that and we'll give it some time and you can see that appearing here so what you can do just close this and close that and try to refresh everything and we can see that we have this in place and this is how it's done you can see the curvature you can see this and you can see that so this is how it's done and if you have the beam extruded macro you can actually do this thanks a lot for watching this video and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and let's meet then bye bye